With the Bath Wildkids advancing to Saturday's D2 softball district final at Miller City, the game has been moved back to 1.30 from its original noon start due to Bath's graduation ceremonies at 10 o'clock Saturday morning. But which WBL foe will the Wildkittens face? Either Shawnee or Wapakoneta. Their semifinal delayed 24 hours by yesterday's rain when they met in the regular season. Skins won a close one 2-1. In nine innings, and the Wild Kittens doing a little scouting in tonight's game. Shawnee leading at 3 0. Bottom of the fourth. Wapak with runners on first and third, two outs. Tiffany Camper with a grounder to second. Gets past Abby Hall. Riley Culver comes in to score, but wait a minute. Runners interference is called. Out. No run. It's still a 3 0 lead for the Indians. In the Top of the fifth, K. Schick, grounder to second, hustling down the line, beats it out for the infield single. Later on in that inning, Shannon Simpson bunts. There are two on. Throw gets away at first. Hannah Martin comes all the way in from a second. It's a 4-0 lead for the Indians. Later on, Abby Hall swings and misses, gets away. Kirsten Courtney slides in safely on the drop third strike. 5-0 Shawnee leading. Melissa Window at the plate. Double steal, throw gets away, and Simpson comes in to score, and Shawnee increases the lead to 6-0. Indians continue to use the small ball tactics. Sidney Jones out at second, but Hall safe on the back end of the double steal. 7-0 Shawnee, bottom of the fifth. Bases loaded, no outs, but Kay Schick gets out of the jam, goes home for the force out, and then in the top of the sixth, two on. Courtney, the base hit. Jamie Fulham comes in to score. 8-0 Shawnee, the lead, and that would be the final score as the Indians are advancing on. Earlier in the contest, Courtney, a home run to become Shawnee's all-time leader in home runs as the Indians get the victory. Practice, practice, and practice and practice just plays off. Yeah, I think that game was really an example of, uh, you know, things turning around on a couple of balls that bounce your, bounce your way. Uh, they made a couple of errors, and, and we were able to, to put some runs up on the board. Uh, but you know, we had some innings where, where we had some miscues on our own, and uh, managed to managed to keep them from scoring. I mean, we made some errors in the field, but we definitely picked ourselves up and got right back at it and made the outs that we needed to. I definitely made it a lot easier in the circle, knowing that I could give up a run or two, and it wouldn't really matter that much. Big Division Four softball showdown tomorrow at Wapak. But first, we look at the bracket as Bath and Shawnee will play one third at Miller City on a Saturday. Winner of that advances on to the Bucyrus Regional, take on Clear Fork Clyde winner.